Hello, this is Michael Johnson, Senior Applications Engineer with Asset Intertech. Today I'd like to demonstrate ScanWorks' ability to support embedded instruments accessed via the IEEE 1687 or IJTAG standard. Silicon that is compliant to the IEEE 1687 standard will have three components, an IJTAG network, an instrument connectivity language file, or ICL, and a procedure description language file, or PDL. An ICL file describes the access to an embedded instrument through the IJTAG network inside of an SOC, an ASIC, or an FPGA, while a PDL file describes the operations of an embedded instrument. ICL and PDL files, along with a properly instantiated IJTAG network inside of your IEEE 1687 device, is essential. If you are missing any of these, ASSET will help you create these components. ICL and PDL files are imported into ScanWorks under the Define a Scan Path link, then used to access and operate an embedded instrument via ScanWorks IJTAG action. For this demonstration, I've imported an ICL file named All Instruments 2 and several PDL files describing the operations of instruments that have been embedded inside of a Xilinx Spartan 6 FPGA on an Opal Kelly FPGA development board. With the use of a ScanPath Verify action, we can check the basic IEEE 1149.1 register functions of the Xilinx Spartan 6 FPGA. Let's examine an IJTAG action. This IJTAG action operates an embedded instrument which measures the frequency of an oscillator that provides the FPGA's reference clock signal. This reference clock signal is 25 MHz. First, a device containing the embedded instruments, our FPGA, is selected. In this scenario, three instruments are embedded an instrument which measures frequency, a SPI flash programming instrument, and an instrument that operates SPI protocol based devices. Once an instrument is selected, its available operations appear. Instrument operations can be selected and dragged down into the assigned operations area. Multiple instruments can be operated in the same device, or multiple instruments can be operated in multiple devices in a single IJTAG action. IJTAG actions, along with other ScanWorks action types, can be applied in a specific order with the use of the ScanWorks sequencer. I'll run a sequence that verifies the scan path to the FPGA, instantiates instruments inside of the FPGA, then operates the frequency measure and temperature instruments. The use of these IJTAG actions as part of an initial board functional test strategy would ensure the onboard oscillator is within a prescribed frequency range and that the board is not overheating. Looking at the results of this sequence, the frequency into the FPGA was measured at approximately 25 MHz and the board temperature is measured at approximately 25 degrees Celsius. In summary, the value of ScanWorks IJTAG product is it bridges the gap between silicon verification EDA tools and pre-production silicon testing, it improves diagnostics from reuse of embedded instruments IP in the validation test and debug process, and it adds new capabilities from embedded instrument IP reuse to existing ScanWorks manufacturing test deployments. Customers are using ScanWorks IJTAC tools once silicon is available and placed on a board. This concludes our demonstration. For more information, please contact your local salesperson or local applications engineer. Thank you.